Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Renegade here, and I wanted to go ahead and make a little bit of a different style video for you today. This right here is going to be an informational video for you, especially if you're a gamer like me and you do like to get games at a discount or cheaper. Games are expensive and they seem to be getting uh, more expensive recently, so therefore you kind of want to get some of these games at a discount, especially some of these that have been out for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of my personal tips and tricks that I use to get games cheaper. Now, all of the things that I'm going to show you in the video are things that I have done. I personally did myself, so that's how I know that they are real, how they work. All of them are completely legal, and all of them are very, very easy. None of this is no kind of bootleg or anything like that. I know a lot of people are interested in short and sweet videos, so this is going to be a short and sweet video. I'm going to get right to the point and show you how to do all this stuff. Do it again. Say real fast, though, if you do end up enjoying this video and you do like gaming content, my channel is really just a mix of everything. However, majority of it is gaming, so please do check out all of that stuff. And once again, if you do end up enjoying this video, please do like and subscribe. That would really help me out. Now, moving along to our first option here, this is going to be Humble Bundle. If you guys haven't heard of Humble Bundle before, it is an organization that does sell games and all the proceeds that they earn will be dedicated to supporting charities. They do donate almost every single bit of money that they get to charities, so therefore, even if you're not buying a discounted game, anything you do buy from there will go towards a good cause. Let's use uh, this game right here, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdoms. Even if you cannot get this game at a discount on their website, I still recommend buying at full price through them rather than buying at full price through Nintendo because if you buy it on here, not only will your money go towards charity, but on top of that, every time that you buy a game on Humble Bundle, you do get money back. This 50 cents right here is from me buying a $4 game the other day. So you get money back every single time you buy a game. And when you're buying an expensive game like this one, you will get a couple of dollars back. So. You do get money back, that's always a plus, but the number one reason why I recommend Humble Bundle is not because of the charity, because of that, it's because of their bundles. Now they sell more than just gaming stuff, they also sell online books as well as online software, and the best thing about it is you really do pay what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this bundle. So let's go ahead and use these games for example. Uh, I personally don't know these games, this right here just isn't like a well-known bundle. But if you pay at least $22, you will get all of these games. So you do have the option of paying what you want. You can make your own price. But if you pay at least $22, you will get all of these. This kind of leads back. They recently had a Jackbox bundle, which you'll see on my screen. And you have the option to get two items, one item. It, it really varies. But if you put at least $25 into it, you would get all of the Jackbox games that it had to offer. They also had a Resident Evil bundle recently. It was $35 for getting all 12 items in that bundle. And $35 for 12 Resident Evil games is a pretty good deal. But you really do get to pay what you want. And on top of that, not only do you get these games at a heavy, heavy discount, they immediately turn into Steam keys when you buy them. So when you do buy them, you do have the option of re-gifting certain items that you may already have or that you may want to give to a friend. You could just share the Steam key with them. There's multiple times where I have rebought games that I already own on Humble Bundle just for friends. That way, not only A, can I get my money back, make some money back from buying these games, that way I could buy another game at a discount, but B, say if there's a bundle I really wanted and it already had one or two games that I already owned in it, well, it's still a really, really good deal, so I just gave the Steam keys out to my friends. So if you are looking at getting games cheaper, definitely check out Humble Bundle. Sometimes they have some amazing bundles that you absolutely just cannot pass up. And then sometimes, like I said, they may have full price games, but you still get money back either way. So definitely my number one recommendation for getting games cheaper. Also, like I said, it does go towards charity. And on top of that, can't get wrong with money back. And you're also just completely doing this legally. And it's super, super easy. I should probably note for those of you who don't know what a Steam key is, Steam key is basically going to be like a gift card key. So if you've ever bought a game for someone through Steam and you gifted it to them, they will get a little code. Once you take that code, you copy and you paste it, you enter it into the gift section, and that is how you redeem a game. Now, Humble Bundle will just give you these Steam keys, that way you can redeem a game. But if you have something that you want and you can't find it on Humble Bundle, but you still want it, you can still have the option of buying a Steam key, which is going to be our next recommendation. Now, buying Steam keys is super, super easy, just like Humble Bundle. However, this is where you got to be cautious because you can get scammed on this part. So let me tell you what to look out for and what not to look out for with buying Steam keys. So when you go and search up buy Steam keys, you will notice that you get multiple different websites, different games that pop up, all at different price points. 
This is where you gotta be really, really careful. Now, I have not used every single website that sells Steam keys, and honestly, I can't tell you which ones are scams and which ones aren't scams. All I can tell you is my personal experience. Now, I will say I have used G2A multiple times and I've never had an issue with them. I've also used CD keys and I've never had an issue with them. There's a few other websites that I use as well, but these two are the main ones. When you're buying a Steam key, there's a few things you wanna look out for. Number one, you do wanna make sure that the Steam key is fitted for your area, for your region. Most of the time they are gonna say global, which means you can use them anywhere and everywhere across the world. Uh, with a few exceptions, give or take, it will tell you those few exceptions. However, say if I find one that's North America only, that means I can only use it if I'm in North America, which I am in North America, so I got on my way to look out for North America keys. I do not live in Europe, so therefore I will not be buying a game key. This right here is an Xbox key. I would not be buying one that is in Europe because I cannot use it. So therefore, you need to be very, very careful when you're buying these Steam keys to make sure that they are something you can access. Now, another thing you want to look out for is price with these Steam keys. Sometimes these Steam keys will be super, super, super cheap. And when I say super cheap, I mean like one or two dollars. If you find a Steam key and it says it's one or two dollars, make sure you thoroughly read it because nine times out of ten, it's not going to be a Steam key. People also do sell their Steam accounts on these websites. Now, you will notice that your Steam account is going to be much, much cheaper than a Steam key. But the only difference is you're going to be buying an actual Steam account which means that if you bought a game with a Steam account connected to it, sometimes they'll gift it over to you. That has happened, but other times, or majority of the time, you will just have to get that Steam account information and log into it. That's a lot of hassle, and personally, at that point, it's not even in your library, which I don't even take it as you own it. So you do have the option of doing that, which is going to be even cheaper. However, if you're only interested in getting Steam keys, that way it's in your personal library, make sure you keep a very, very good eye out for Steam keys and Steam keys only. Now, when buying Steam keys, it's not a major discount like Humble Bundle, but sometimes you can get some really good deals. Typically, you'll get games about $15, $10, $20 off, somewhere around there. Sometimes if they're newer games, only like $2 or $3, sometimes $5. But let's go ahead and use uh, Near Replicant, for example. I just picked this game. I was looking at Near Automata, but the price actually changed recently on Near Automata. So Replicant was another one that I could use. So Near Replicant right now is currently $59.99 on the Steam page. So getting a Steam key like this for $28 is already a really good deal. We can see that it can be activated where I live at. I do see that it is for Steam. I do see that it's a key and I do see that it is a global version. So therefore I can use it. Now you do have the option of saying, well, $28 is a good deal. I can buy this for $28 instead of the $59.99, but I wonder if it's possible for me to get this even cheaper and it still be a Steam key. Well, you can always scroll down on most of these websites and they'll actually show you different uh, sellers who sell these games. Now, sometimes you can get ripped off, like for example, here's $75 for a game that's only 60. Sometimes though, you can scroll down and find some really, really good discounts. So just keep an eye out for some of that stuff and make sure that when you're buying a Steam key, use a very trustworthy website. Also make sure that you don't get scammed. I personally like to use PayPal. PayPal is a good way to pay for stuff because if you do end up getting scammed, most of the time PayPal is for the people, they will give you your money back. So try to be careful when entering in your information into some of these websites. So those two that I just went over are the main ways that I use to get games at a discount. Now there is one final way and this right here is a little bit different from the other two. This one involves leeching off your friends and family, which is uh, not always a bad option. And what I'm talking about is Steam sharing. Now Steam share has this saying where you can share your library with friends and family and that's up to five people. So the way Steam sharing works is pretty similar to just handing off regular games in real life. Basically what happens is say if you have a friend, a sibling, or family member that you want to share with or if you want to play one of their games that they own, you will have to get their login information, their username, and their password and personally log into their account on your PC. Once when you do that, your accounts will connect and you will be labeled as family and friends on the Steam Share file and then you can share each other's libraries. Now there is a limit to this when I say it is like real life. What happens is say if I have Elden Ring and I'm playing Elden Ring, my brother wants to play the Elden Ring that I'm currently playing, he's gonna have to wait for me to get off. Once when I get off the game, he has free access to play any of my games for as long as he wants, specifically the ones that I'm not using. Now this is very, very similar to owning one game. However, say for example, if I have GTA and my brother has GTA and we're Steam sharing, 
it's still two separate games. You can both still play GTA at once. So don't be nervous if you want to play one of their games and you're worried about only having one account linked. You will still be able to play both of your games. Your games are still yours. Basically, all it does is just allows the other person to access the game. Now, if you are going to be Steam sharing, I do highly recommend Steam sharing with a sibling with a very close family member or a friend. You will have to give them your username and password, which is very delicate security information. So make sure you are very cautious with who you're handing this information out to. Don't just meet some random stranger and give it to them. That is a good way of losing your Steam account and also a good way of getting all your games taken away. So be very, very careful with all of that. So that basically wraps up everything I wanted to talk about today. I did want to go ahead and just give you a few tips and tricks on getting games for cheaper. Using Humble Bundle and getting different Steam codes for dirt cheap are very, very helpful. Humble Bundle and Steam codes, by the way, these Steam keys are not just limited to Steam. On the websites to buy the game keys, you can also buy Xbox games, Nintendo Switch games, PS5 games. Same thing for Humble Bundle, it is not just games, it's also books and software you can buy, and it's also games for Nintendo Switch as well as PlayStation, etc, etc. So you do have a lot of variety with these, like I said, they're mainly for PC, but those who have consoles can also be helped by this. Anyway, if you did find the video very helpful, please do drop a like and comment. Please do subscribe as well, that would mean a lot for me. I did reach my sub goal for the end of this month, which was 200 subscribers, and so I'm very grateful. Thank you everyone who has subscribed to me, and yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.